Hello and welcome to Maker Mondays with Harris County Public Library. This week, we'll be creating a custom trophy using Thingiverse.com and Tinkercad. Remember to get a parent's permission before using these websites. Let's start off by going to Thingiverse.com. Thingiverse is an online repository of user-created 3D designs. You can find fun and fantastical toys, as well as practical and usable tools. Now today, I'd like to create a customized trophy, so I'm going to go ahead and search trophy in the search bar. You'll see a lot of unique designs come up, some traditional, some a little less traditional. But I'm going to go ahead and search for a basic trophy like this one and click on it. And then you'll see all the file information, like here's a 3D printed picture of the design, as well as the 3D model. You'll also see instructions on the bottom of the page, as well as a license. We need to check our license to make sure how we can use this object. This one, for example, we're allowed to share and adapt the file as long as we give proper credit to the original maker. So I'll go ahead and download my file. Once that's completed, go ahead and click on the download. It's downloaded as a zip file, so we need to extract it. And once that's complete, we'll go ahead and go to tinkercad.com. Make sure to log in and create a new design. And then we'll be in our work plane. Like our previous Tinkercad lesson, you'll see that we have, here's our work surface that we can use, as well as some basic shapes and other toolbars for us to play around with. But if you'd like to create more complex designs, Thingiverse is a great way to import those and build off of them. I'm gonna go to the import button in the top right and select my file, and then open it in Tinkercad. And there we have a nice trophy design in our work plane. This is about the right size that I'm looking for, but I do want to create a build plate and some text on top of it to make it um, a custom award. So I'll drag a box onto my work plane for the platform and I'll go to top view and just stretch it over the entire trophy. Once I've got the shape that I'd like, you can still see that it's a bit tall and it's swallowing a bit of my trophy. So I'm going to lower the height to five millimeters. And then in turn, I'm going to raise my trophy up five millimeters. One, two, three, four, five. And then just to give a little more space for my words, I'm going to scoot it back a bit. Then we're going to use our text generator in our toolbar and drag it onto our work surface. And then in the options panel over here, we can edit the text. So I'm going to make this a best smile award and change the color to green. Next, I'm going to size it down by dragging it, but you'll see as I drag it, it gets kind of smushed. So to maintain the proportions, you'll want to hold shift while dragging. Next, we'll place it onto our build platform and we'll raise it up a little bit, then center it on the platform. And now our design is complete for our custom trophy. The last things we need to do are create one object. So I'll drag all of my objects and click the group icon in the top right so that they become one. Now there are lots of things you can do with your new 3D file, like place it in an animation or a 3D setting or 3D printed even. Whatever you'd like to do with it, you can export your file to continue using your object. I hope you enjoyed this mini Tinkercad lesson. Keep practicing and see what else you can do with Tinkercad. Thanks for joining us for Maker Mondays this week. 
And remember to check out your local library for more book recommendations and inspiration.